if we are working in any programming language or if we are working on any databases or if we are working on any tools one particular moment we will face that we are facing the issue of performance we are getting delayed while loading the data or we are getting delayed in loading the visuals or we are getting delayed in loading the scripts then what is the problem it's a problem of a performance so in order to make it better in order to boost up better what are the different steps that we have to consider hi i am m asif hussain from no half academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand the performance optimization in snowflake by the end of this video you could get an idea of different performance aspects and what is your particular contribution in order to make the your performance of snowflake optimize in a better way so watch till the end my dear viewers whenever i am talking about the performance optimization it is generally a very uh, interesting and it is generally a very important factor that every person who is working on any tool or any language or any database it is required for them to know so there are certain terms and conditions there are certain rules that every particular software every particular programming language every particular tool have it the rule is that there should be certain amount of data there should be certain time to load a visual if it is crossing more than that if it is getting delayed more than the scheduled time there is an issue of a performance so in order to make sure that we don't get the performance issue again there are several steps that we have to consider so now what exactly are the possibilities that we have to do in snowflake that we are going to learn it in this if i would like to talk whenever we are trying to performance or or see the performance of a query in a snowflake okay as we will be using the large cluster keys as we will be using the huge data set sizes as we will be using multi cluster keys as we will be using different data warehouses okay there might be the possibilities that the queries that we write okay they are not executing faster so in order to make sure that you know we uh, the queries that we are writing okay if it has to move faster or if it has to run faster okay we have to optimize the performance of our query okay so when we try to optimize the performance of a query then our query will run faster the queries that we have written that will run faster so here the interesting fact is that whenever we are trying to improve the performance of our particular query parallelly the cost also get saves okay so what is the logic of the cost in snowflake here we will use the cost of snowflake depending upon the size that we are using it depending upon the clusters that we are using it so that particular cost also gets saved when we are improving the performance of a particular query so another interesting fact here is that for what kind of possibility or what kind of optimization steps that we have to consider in order to uh, improve the performance of our data warehouse because every particular worksheet that we are working at in our snowflake it is on a one certain data warehouse so what are the steps that we have to consider so one we have to go with it is we need to add the constraints like primary key okay so primary key which is a unique key that we will be having to a column okay in a query so in the same way we need to add the indexes because indexes it improves the search performance okay so the same indexes how we write in sql server it's the same thing here in snowflake as well 
and the next one is we need to remove the unwanted full table scans that we have implemented in our particular queries and we have to create the table partition so that it will be helpful for us for a better performance and we need to analyze the query execution table plan because see whenever we are writing a query we have to check the execution plan though it is an sql server though it is a snowflake so what happens is that when we are trying to execute our table plan okay so we will get an idea okay what is the time duration how much time it is taking which is getting more size which is getting more time so that we have to analyze it whenever we are writing a query so these are the things that we have to consider when we are you now optimizing the performance in a data warehouse specifically if you would like to talk about now let us see what is a interesting feature in snowflake okay so as I have told all the different points that we have to add the constraints, we have to use indexes, now we have to check the query execution plan, we have to have the table partitions. So do you really think that a person has to focus on all these things apart from the regular work that he or she is doing on a project? So for that, Snowflake is giving us an interesting feature. The interesting feature is that we don't need to manually do all these it is automatically done by snowflake it is automatically done by snowflake okay so that's an interesting thing that we have it here so all the things that we have discussed about the optimizing the performance it is automatically managed by the micro partitions which is inbuilt that is given by snowflake so here what we need to do is that so what we can do is that as a contribution if you would like to talk about then we can design our warehouses and we can design the data for a good performance okay so when we are designing it we have to make sure that what all the uh, steps what all the cluster keys what are the size of the data warehouse that we are using are they all completely relevant and are they all completely suitable for what kind of project that we are working in so that we can optimize and maximize the benefits of our data warehouse okay so now when the point comes what is our contribution in this particular performance optimization so if we would like to talk about the contribution then the biggest contribution that an individual can do in snowflake is that we can select the virtual warehouse sizes okay example if you would like to talk about the multi cluster warehouses if you would like to have when we are working with a different data sets for example if you are working on different data sets if you are working on different sizes if you are working on different queries then it is not possible to have it in one data warehouse or in one cluster key so it is better to have the uh, multi cluster warehouses so this is one thing that we can do and the another one is that choosing the right data type if we are not using the right data type then yes your query performance will go very slower okay so we need to be make sure what kind of data types we are using to the query and you know, for the columns that we have it here so this is the contribution that we can do from our end in order to improve the performance in snowflake so in the same way what is the role in optimization for better performance that an individual can do i mean the user can do in snowflake so the individual uh, person's role in optimizing this one is if i would like to talk about the first step so we have to create a warehouse for specific user group so let me tell you one thing as i have given the previous example that if you are using different data sets if you are using different clusters if you are using different warehouses then if you are using different sizes, then if you are using uh, different data sets, then if you are using uh, different queries, then don't you think that uh, it takes a lot of size and a lot of confusion in it? So for these particular scenarios where you have to have this all different uh, aspects for everything, then we have to have the dedicated warehouse for this kind of specific user group. So that will help a lot. So that is the first point. And if I would like to talk about the second point, we need to scale up. So we have something called as scaling up and scaling down. So what exactly it is? So scale up warehouse, you know, we have to scale up the warehouse for patterns of high workload. So depending upon the size of the workload that we are working on in a snowflake, we, according to that, we have to scale it up for the better performance. And in the same way, in the same way, we have to scale out also. For, for example, if you do not know what is the size of the data that you are working in, if you do not 
not know what is the number of uh, data warehouses that you are working in if you do not know how many cluster keys you have to use in then for these kind of situations where we do not have an exact idea what is the limit of the size and what is the data warehouse that we have to use what is the cluster key we have to use so for that unknown patterns i would like to talk about so for that unknown patterns we have to have the scale out option also so where in this particular situation if you would like to talk about the unknown patterns and it is a multi cluster warehouses that we could probably use it here so in the large uh, tables that we are using it so uh, for that we need to have the cluster key specifically so most possibly what the uh, individual users they generally do is that they just open the snowflake they use the uh, worksheet and they start writing the queries and they start executing it so that will become a problem so that uh, uh, that leads to the low performance uh, optimization or low performance for our query so for this what we have to do we need to assign a dedicated uh, cluster key for this larger table so that it will be easy for us to uh, analyze at the end day so we have seen the different points at what we have to do and what is our contribution so all these different aspects will help us to uh, improve the performance in our snowflake so my dear viewers in this video we have learned what is performance optimization in snowflake what is the advantage of it what is the role that we have to use or what is the role that we have to contribute in order to improve the performance in Snowflake and what is the interesting factor that we have it in Snowflake. Thank you for choosing Nohav Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.